let's go she's 82 and he's 39 a 43 year old age gap just go welcome to the wonderful world of age gap love couples decades apart but happy ever after you're fine with that look we're gonna watch that over age and over love. couples decades apart but happy ever after. right there i want you to look at an old woman putting her tongue down a 39 year old man's throat and tell me that this is just fine this isn't nasty at all 82 39 if it's legal it's okay right i mean it's legal but it's not moral it's gross but happy ever ah, look look at them they just really get into it all oh, a lot of tongue with granny Ugh. we met online the initial attraction is obviously physical i felt i struck gold sam was such a lovely guy thank god for the internet the uncomfortable truth of being married to a pensioner i mean me like the years oh don't be saying stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> the couple that girl oh shit isn't she like i know her from somewhere hold on not her this one where do i know her from i think she was in a different show before this one where she's like 19 and this dude's like 55 or like 60 or something the couple who feel banished from their hometown because of their age gap they made me feel like i was some sort of animal because i'm going out with a younger girl i'm going out with a younger girl because this girl has asked me to go out with her and the sexy 82 year old sexy 82 year old that's not a thing whose new 39 year old boyfriend is simply not young enough you really just I'm doing this to punish you to take the extreme route of Johnny. It's all right because she's legal, man. That means anybody can creep on her and it should be supported and not called out and not seen as odd or disgusting. Young man is fired up about what the future. You're comfortable with this right here. This image right here of Bob Barker's ex-wife messing around with this guy that is 43 years old. I mean, 43 years younger than her. He's 39. She's literally double his age, plus four years, I think. I don't know if my math is right. I don't care. I think I'm actually too old for her. <laughs> this is the sunshine state of Florida in America and a place where... Of course, where else would this happen? Age gap... Because Florida or Oregon, those are the two states I expect this type of stuff out of. Love might just blossom. Hey, you. How are you? Come on in. Self confessed cougar Hattie is 82 years old. Self confessed, yeah, she has just professed. Flown in from New York to stay with her new love interest, 39 year old John, who happens to adore much older women. I think that's an understatement. We were See, I like older women. You know what I mean? Like, I'm 34, so I generally like women that are at least, I don't know, 29, 28, all the way up to like 38, 39, maybe 40, maybe past 40, like a little bit past 40. It depends on how hot she is, because I've had a few women that I've <laughs> had flings with, for lack of a better word. They were around 45, 46, but they were just smoking hot. Oh my God, you would have not known. You would have not known at all some women are just blessed man i'm serious connected on social media for you i'm not talking about like hattie blessed as if like she doesn't look 82 i'm talking about literally if you saw her you'd be like there's no way she's 45 no fucking way and i don't know if it's the surgeries i don't know if it's they just take care of themselves eat better work out a lot more than most of them i don't know but there are some women in their 40s that are just fucking hot we hadn't met but i was charmed with this woman that i had seen she told me I could call her, so I called her and we spoke for about an hour or so. And we had discussed, you know, a lot about who I was, who she was. And, yeah, and you know, why we had anything at all in common so that, of course, he might have wanted to meet me, to meet me. But he is a man who said that he dates older women. You feel relaxed? 
Yeah, of course. Despite the 43-year age gap, John couldn't wait to make his way to New York to meet 82-year-old Hattie. It's just something inherently predatory when you get into these age gap relationships. If you think about it this way, I'm not saying it should be illegal or it should be banned or we should crucify these people, you know, but I think that it's okay to look at this and say, that's not normal. That's not right. That's gross. That's odd. You know what I mean? Because think about it. If some guy, some random 21 year old dude that looked like he came off the cover of playgirl magazine or whatever thing women go to, to look up hot guys, I don't know. I'm not a woman, but whatever you women look up went and started dating your 82 year old granny. Wouldn't you think that he's trying to basically like steal her money, manipulate her, get her into some type of scam, get her into some type of situation, you know, where there's some type of manipulation and gaslighting and theft and scam and just something wrong going on. You know what I mean? Or someone like Boogie who's dating someone that's 19 that, you know, we've speculated that she's probably a sugar baby or a escort or something. We don't know for sure. I guess. I mean, maybe we do by the time this comes out, but my point is let's say for the sake of argument that quote unquote Desi, as he calls her, isn't an escort, not a sugar baby. She was just a fan of boogie. And she said, you know what? I like boogie. I like his personality and I want to go and date boogie. Out of all the men in the world, I'm going to date Boogie of my own volition with no money involved with nothing else involved, right? Boogie is still preying on someone that is completely immature. Is it legal? Yes. Is it right? No, because he has a lot more power in the relationship because he has the fucking money. He has the life experience, like it or not. He's almost 50. He has to have some, he has a house. He has a steady income enough to live off of apparently because he's not at the poor house. He's not eating government cheese. So basically he has all the power in the relationship. He can manipulate this girl who may have nowhere else to go into doing some really shady stuff or to just gaslight her into just staying with an abuser. But go ahead and keep telling me how it's just fine. And we should encourage people that are 50 dating your barely out of high school, haven't even been to college, never probably had even a job at McDonald's yet, have no life experience, someone that is just as dumb as you were at 18, because trust me, even if you think that you're on the top of the world and you're hot shit when you're 18, unless you're a millionaire at 18, you're not. It's all ego. It's all bravado. It's all that stuff. When you're a kid, once you get older, you get a lot more calm because you just kind of understand that a lot of the stuff that you think is big and important and everything when you're 18 is not like, I'm not the same person I was when I was 18. I'm not the same person I was when I was 25. I'm not the same person I was when I was 30. Now I hate the phrase grow as a person. I think that's too pretentious, but I have legitimately matured and changed over time where I have been through enough nonsense, enough craziness in my life that I am a lot more stable mentally, financially, spiritually, relationship wise, a lot more willing to set boundaries to make myself happy in life now. And my priorities are so much different than I was at 18, much different. It's almost like being two completely different people. If some woman, which it did happen to me, you know what? Let's go on a little tangent here. I don't care. Some people like these. When I was in middle school, I had a teacher try to groom me and I'm not trying to be like Cyrax and oh, woe is me. My life is shit or whatever. No, I'm just telling you from experience that people that are older will lie, will manipulate, will say things that the naive young people will believe to get what they want. It's called grooming. I had one that literally tried to tell me that because I was a writer, I'm still a writer, by the way, if you want to check out my books, link in the description, I'm a horror author on Amazon over 16 books, 17 books. I don't know. I have a lot of books out right now. You can check out and they actually have decent ratings. The point is 
that woman, when I was however old you are in sixth grade, was like, hey, I can get you published at this publishing house that's near my hometown. And her hometown, guess what's there? Nothing. Not even a gas station. Now they have a gas station. But it took them many years to get a gas station. This place is literally right off of a major highway. And there's nothing there, not even a gas station. Everything closed up there. But she tried to say that she could get me published when I was in sixth grade. Now, I know you're saying, oh, that's a pedo. Like, yes, it was a pedo. Okay. There's a difference. There is the same concept applies. That are you as smart, mature, experienced, and mentally sound as you were when you were 18? No. No. Unless you were one of the exceptions where you were still mentally screwed up and you know, you're on drugs or whatever. I don't know, whatever your situation is. Most of us, I think we can all agree have come a long way since 18, where if we were put in the same position with boogie, say that you're like 25, 28, 30, who boogie should be trying to go for, even though that's even still too low for me. For me, if I was boogie, my range really would be just people in their forties and early fifties. But I know some of you people can't stand it. You have to have the young new model. You have to have the young girl because you forgot that you're 50, not 20 anymore for some reason. And I know this is going to get a ton of down votes, but I don't, I don't care. I just don't care because it's just wrong. You know, I'm putting my line in the sand here and saying it's wrong. It's wrong to fuck a child and it's wrong to fuck a 19 year old when you're in your forties or your fifties or whatever, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right. And I'm tired of that argument. I'm so tired of the whole, Oh, she's legal. Oh, she's legal. You're just judgmental. You're just jealous. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want a 19 year old. I don't want a 25 year old. I don't want a woman that is below the age of 29 and that's stretching it. Cause I'm 34. Am I saying that you shouldn't be with somebody or that you should break up with your partner if there's a 10 year age gap? Of course not. As long as it's legal in that case, but really think about this. Let's narrow in on this. I feel like the age gaps are a lot more tolerable as you get older. So if someone's 35 and their partner is 50, I don't really see that much of a problem because by the time you're 35, you're a grown adult, you're fully matured. You should have some stability in your life. You're pretty much matured to a point where, you know, you're not a, still a dumb teenager that's in, you know, in high school or college, just doing dumb teenager stuff. Like we all did our rock star days, as I call them, you're at least in that finally a real adult age, you know, well, I don't think that's as big of a deal. I think it's still strange to have 15 years between you. But at the same time, I can understand that a lot more than I could a 29 year old and a 19 year old. Maybe I'm just wrong. I, it's not even the age pro it's the, it's a maturity thing. It's a maturity thing. It's a power dynamic thing. It's just a, a gross thing. Maybe it's because I'm into older chicks. Maybe it's like, I like to date in my age range. Like, I don't know why women think that they're old when they hit 30 or 33, 35, 30 or 40 or whatever. But a lot of you, seriously, I've seen a lot of you out there and I'm not trying to go fishing with this, but seriously, my last, okay. Not my last, because technically if you count Janelle, that's different. She was 30, but no, no, Janelle was older than me. She was no, what shit. I can't remember. I think she was six months younger than me, whatever she was. She was right there at my age. But before Janelle, I was dating a girl six years older than me. That was bad ex that we've talked about before the psycho BPD chick that just was just, oh God, we're not going into it. But anyway, my point is that bad ex who was 35 when I met her and I was 29. To me at the time, maybe not anymore, but at the time she was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful eyes, long blonde hair, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Just, and I loved her. I did. I really, really loved that woman with all my heart. And she, you know, did some fucked up shit and that all happened. But the point is if I was 18, it would be so much worse. If, if what would have happened, what happened between us. 
happened and I was 18, it would have been so much worse for me as a person. I'm getting into depressing territory. We're just going to keep going. This is supposed to be funny, damn it. And neither could have imagined what happened next. From the first look I had of him, actually, it was as if I sensed something right away. It's kind of a softness and a warmth. Come on, let me see that face. It's so sweet. He's really sweet. He just spoke to me as if I were like the most astonishing, extraordinary, beautiful, fascinating woman in the world. Or at least I was in that category. You were, you are, you are one of the most fascinating women that I've met. Like, that hasn't changed. Lisa, how could I not like <laughs> He's continuing being really lovely to me. <laughs> the attraction this couple felt was irresistible. So five weeks on, and Hattie has come for a weekend break to Florida for the first real test of their 43-year age gap relationship. Over the next couple of days, we're going to go out to a friend of mine's restaurant on the beach so she can, we can go eat there. This looks like something you would go to. Mad Beach? No. No, that's more your style. I mean, it's got mad in the title. Come on. <laughs> I don't think either of us really know what happens after this visit, but... She's here, and we're going to have a great time, and she'll meet some people well, close to me and my friends, and, and it'll be good. Age gap love can blossom at any time and at any age. 82-year-old Hattie is spending a few days with a new potential boyfriend, 39-year-old John. John has never dated girls his own age, as he feels he has a lot to offer older women. I've been asked and playfully ridiculed, I guess, by people who've known me for a long time. You know, why do I date older women? It's called being a grave robber. That's what this is. I like confidence in a woman. I like self-awareness. You can get that in a 35 year old, seriously. But I do think with the mature women that I've dated, there's always been a more sensual, more compassionate side. You know, they're very receptive to the type of person and lover that I am. You know, when I'm here... That oh, God, look at those hands. Oh, no. It reminds me of the Caribbean because of the palm trees. Do you know what kind of plant that is? Um, do you? Well, it's not a plant, it's an alligator. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> when Hattie divorced at 48, she made it her mission to only date younger guys, often much younger than John, and she can't get enough. When people ask me why I like younger men, they always figure it's a hard cock or something. I'm not saying it's not that. However, an older man, generally, he's had this, he once played rugby, he was once the top football player, blah, 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 blah. and he had all these dreams. And I love those dreams, but he had them already. But a young man, is fired up about what the future holds and i can light that light and i could keep i'm done this is nasty all right see y'all next time check out the rest of my videos playlist in the description check out my patreon for 100 plus episodes of to catch predator updates that you will never see on youtube again because they think me making fun of those uh child molesters is bullying for some reason but yeah anyway see you next time take care also join the discord i just made a new discord it is in the description join it right now see you next time